Lesson 18, Objective. Solve multi-step word problems modeled with tape diagrams and assess the reasonableness of answers using rounding. Vocabulary for the day. Everyone say, sum, difference, tape diagram, variable, rounding. So let's look at problem number one. Solve a multi-step word problem requiring addition and subtraction modeled with a tape diagram and check the reasonableness of the answers using estimation. So let's see what we actually need to do in the problem. So we, need, we know we need to solve a multi-step word problem. We know we need to model using a tape diagram. And we know we need to check the reasonableness of the answer using estimation. So let's do C cub on this problem while we read it. In one year, a factory used 11,650 meters of cotton, 4,950 fewer meters of silk than cotton, and 3,500 fewer meters of wool than silk. And then let's box in how many? And then underline, meters in all were used of the three fabrics. Alright, so let's go ahead and set up our tape diagram. So we, we know we start out with 11,650 meters of cotton. So I'm going to put C for cotton and 11,650 meters. Now if you look back in the problem, it says 4,950 fewer meters of silk than cotton. So basically, it's going to be 4,950 fewer than cotton. So let's go ahead and make our tape diagram for cot for silk. So we draw that out, and we know it's 4,950 fewer than cotton. Now let's look back in the problem, and let's figure out what we need for wool. It's 3,500 fewer meters of wool than silk. So our wool is going to be less than silk, so we go down here, and we show that in our tape diagram. So wool is 3,500 less than silk. So now let's figure out how much silk we have and how much wool we have. So let's start out with our first problem. We know that we have 11,650 meters of cotton. And we know the silk is 4,950 less. So we start out in our ones column. 0 minus 0 gives me a difference of 0. Let's go to our tens column. 5 minus 5 gives me a difference of 0. Next, we move to our hundreds column. 6 minus 9. We are unable to do that because our top number is smaller. So we go next door to our thousands place and we unbundle 1 1,000, which would change this to a 0, and we turn it into 10 100. So we bring 10 over here, so it changes this 6 to a 16. So now we have 16 100. 16 minus 9 will give me a difference of 7. And then we look at our thousands column. We cannot subtract 0 minus 4, so we go to our 10 thousands place and take 1 from here, which changes to a 0, and then we unbundle one ten thousand and turn it into ten one thousands. Ten minus four in my thousands column will give me a difference of six. And of course, zero minus nothing would be zero. So now we know that we have six thousand seven hundred meters of silk. So I'll go ahead and show this in our tape diagram, 6,700 meters of silk. So next, let's go ahead and figure out how many meters of wool we have. So we know the silk is 6,700, and we know the wool is 3,500 less than 6,700. So let's go ahead and set that problem up. So let's go ahead and start out in our ones place. 0 minus 0 will give me a difference of... 0. Next move to our tens place. 0 minus 0 will give me a difference of 0. Then we move to our hundreds place. 7 minus 5 will give me a difference of 2. 
And then finally we move to our thousands place. 6 minus 3 will give me a difference of 3. So we have 3,200 meters of wool. So let's go ahead and show this on our tape diagram. So now we have 11,650 meters of cotton, 6,700 meters of silk, and 3,200 meters of wool. So finally, let's look at our question. How many meters in all, keyword here, were used of the three fabrics? So we know that we need to take and find the sum of all three of these, and that will equal our variable or our unknown figure. So let's go ahead and find our sum. 0 plus 0 plus 0 in my 1's column will equal 0. Let's next move to the 10's column. 5 plus 0 plus 0 will give me a sum of 5. Next move to our 100's column. 6 plus 7 plus 2 will give me a sum of 15. So we can't put two digits in one place, so we'll put the 5 in the hundreds place and carry the 1 to the thousands place. Next, let's add up our thousands place. 1 plus 1 plus 6 plus 3 will give me a sum of 11. So put the 1 over the thousands place and the 1 under the hundreds place. And then finally, we add our thousands place. 1 plus 1 will give me a sum of so our total sum of how many meters of fabric we have would be 21,550. Now, we have to go back to our problem and see, did we solve our problem? Yes, we did. Did we model using a tape diagram? Yes, we did. Did we check the reasonableness of the answer using estimation? No. So now we must do that. So look at the first number, 11,650. Would I round this to the nearest 10,000 or to the nearest thousands place to get a more accurate answer? If you said thousands place, you are correct. So I'm going to go ahead and circle my thousands place and underline the digit to the right. Is the underlined digit 5 or greater? Yes. So this digit will go, yes, it will go up to a 2. All the digits to the left of the circle digits stay the same. All the, the digit goes up to a 2 in the thousands place. And all the digits that are underlined and to the right will turn to a 0. It's very important to always remember to leave these digits to the left the same. So next, let's take 6,700 and round it to the nearest thousands place. So you know you're going to circle your thousands place. Underline the digit to the right is the underlined digit. 5 or greater? Yes. So the 6 will turn to a 7. You can see I'm lining up all my place values. And then finally we look at 3,200, round it to the nearest thousands place, circle the thousands place, underline the digit to the right. Is the underlined digit 5 or greater? No it is not. So we know that the 3 will stay the same. And all the digits to the right will turn to a 0. So you can see that I've lined all my places up. So let's go ahead and add my 1s would be equal to 0. My 10s would be equal to 0. My 100s would be equal to 0. And then we move to our 1000s. What is the sum of 2 plus 7 plus 3? 12. So you put your 2 in your 100s column and you take your 1 to your 1000s column. And 1 plus 1 would give me a sum of 2 is 21,550 close to 22,000? Yes, it is. So this answer would be a reasonable answer.